Yeah. Does everybody have life jackets? You have one? No. You need one. Need one. You good, Don? I'm yep. not one. Okay, awesome. Start bringing some pallet structures all the way from the back. Hey, let's start loading some block up, guys. Tom Timmerman. Yes, sir. So you're the Northeast Fisheries Biologist. I am now, yes, sir. And you probably get asked all the time, what does a Northeast Fisheries Biologist do? And today, this is a good example, huh? <laughs> yeah, we sweat a lot. That's what we do. <laughs> well, this is fish habitat. We're at Cave Run Lake. Absolutely. And uh, we're here at the Works Boat Ramp, which has been closed this week. And obviously, you can see why. It's uh, it's loaded down with fish habitat. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that we're used to seeing. We got pallets and trees. And these come from all over. People donate Christmas trees during the Christmas season. Yep, right? yep. But you got something over here that's a little different. I've never seen this before. This is really interesting. You've got this uh, pipeline. One of our districts out uh, in the western part of the state, Jeremy Schiffler and Rob Roll, had come across a company that uses plastic pipe for gas line. Mm -hmm. And uh, if this gas line sits out in the sun for two years, it's expired and they can no longer use it. So they have all this pipe sitting around, and, and rather than throw it in a landfill, they donated it to us. And this is a lot of habitat, and this is just one year. Right. This is a four-year project, mm -hmm. right? We're in year three. Yep. But this is the first year for the PVC piping, right? Yeah, this is, like I said, you know, up in the Northwest District, it's something they just recently come across. So we, we're testing it out here. Um, we got some uh, side scan sonar. We're going to take back over these, some underwater cameras and stuff, uh, and just see what happens to it. For habitat that was put in over the last couple of years, you're already seeing some results, right? You can yeah. already go in there and see fish, and, and you can see that uh, you got schools of bait that are already locating around it. So it, yeah. You know, it, it works. It works very well. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. How many people we have out here helping out today? We got a couple crews. Uh, the Job Corps out of Frenchburg came mm -hmm. and helped us today. Uh, the Department of Juvenile Justice and some of their group home boys are coming out and helping us, uh, which is saying a lot because it's like 90 degrees out here today. Oh, yeah. So, but they're working right there with us. Uh, got the Army Corps, uh, the Forest Services here, and even some Wildlife Division folks oh, here. Oh, yeah, today. That's, that's awesome. So in, in this particular location, I see you've got these uh, these milk jugs staked out here. So it'd be really nice and easy for fishermen to find this spot, right? Well, the, these milk jugs aren't <laughs> going to stay here permanently. Uh, um, we do have some buoyed locations um, that our district has put out on this lake, but the the majority of our sites uh, will take a GPS coordinate in the middle of this polygon we have here, and that's going to be put on our website. It's going to be in Google uh, Map format. People okay. can get on our website, find this GPS location. It's going to tell them uh, whether the, the synthetic material is here or whether it's natural material, if it's a pallet structure, anything Steak like beds, that. Stake beds, all that. It yes. tells you all that stuff. So this location is a, is a good spot because of the, the depth, right? Uh, yeah, there's several things. One thing is we try to cover um, from the backs of the coves all the way to the mouths, and that's kind of a seasonality aspect mm -hmm. to the project. Uh, fish are going to be back here during a certain time of the year, and they're going to move out uh, during other months. Uh, so we try to cover as much as we can with these projects with different locations. This really is a partnership from all kinds of anglers. I mean, it's not. This isn't just crappie, not bluegill. Not, it's good for all habitat. Mm -hmm. We're getting positive feedback uh, from all, from really all anglers. We're noticing that some of our more natural material, the trees, the crappie anglers, are, are benefiting from that. Um, we've gotten feedback from some of the concrete culverts that we put in last year, and some of the pallet structures that muskie and bass are being caught off those. Um, we have gotten some feedback that our spots are popular with tournament anglers. Mm -hmm. um, some of these larger boat tournaments, some of the people that go off first are uh, getting to some of our habitat locations. Um, so it, it has been positive. 
we formed what we call the Cave Run Lake Fish Habitat Project Committee. Um, it involved um, the federal agencies with the project, the U.S. Forest Service and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We invited bass anglers, crappie anglers, uh, muskie anglers, general public guides, and um, we have all those people to the table. And uh, sometimes we don't typically agree on everything, but at the end of the day, we all come together with a good plan of attack, and uh, it's been it's been good for the group. All right, so here with Chad Nickel. This this phase three is taking place today on Cave Run, but we snuck away for a minute because uh, you know what I did is I brought my trusty old map and uh, I downloaded off of our website these coordinates. Excellent. So what I'd like to do is uh, to go see if there's fish hanging out on these phase one and phase two projects. So what we'll do is we're going to load these in and we're going to go see if we can locate uh, first phase projects and then uh, see if we can't catch fish. What do you think about that? Sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So you see our structure we just found here. This is uh, some structure that was put out. We're going to use our buoy marker here. We'll be able to come back and cast to it. Doesn't look like a whole lot. If you obviously got uh, better electronics, you'll be able to see much bigger piles. Look, here's another one. There it is. It's a bluegill. Bluegill. Hey, all species use structure, don't they? Absolutely. This is a little closer to what we're after. about eight and a half inch crappie, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's right down there in that pile of structure. How long has this been out in this particular pile here? This one was on phase two. Uh, was placed in here end of July of last year. So we're uh, just barely a, right a year, year and it's already, the graph has lit up and there's, there's fish everywhere. Funny. It's go. just coming up funny. That's a little better fish. So the next time, before you start your trip, while you're at home, get on the department website and get these locations with the structure on them. They're located in there. You can punch them right in your graph or use your phone and uh, find this habitat. You will find fish. Nice job. <laughs>